How many global superstars can admit that they filed for bankruptcy not only once, but twice? You could assume that after selling over $170 million records worldwide, an artist would be living their best life. But not every artist is that fortunate. Well, Tony Braxton is the artist in question. We reveal the mystery of how such a talented star who seemed set for life fell from grace. How did she move from being a global superstar to filing for bankruptcy twice and even going as far as considering posing nude for Playboy to get money to make ends meet? Where did it all go horribly wrong? Tony is an R&B singer born in 1967 in Maryland. Her rise to stardom brought the world to a standstill as she continually topped the Billboard charts throughout her career. She came to the spotlight in 1993 with the hit Another Sad Love Story and Breathe Again. Although this may have been enough for anyone, for Tony, this was just the beginning of her career, as in 1996 she released one of the greatest hits of her career, Unbreak My Heart. With seven Grammy Awards, Tony was set for life, but somehow she managed to go from riches to rags twice. So let's explore all the reasons why the global superstar went broke. Although we don't celebrate a celebrity's downfall, we learn from it. Tony signed a bad record deal that paid her peanuts. During her major hits in 1993, Tony was signed with the Arista slash La Face record label, where she was paid 35 cents per album. This means no matter how many records were sold, Tony barely made any fortune. At least, not as much as the rest of us thought. Tony admitted to being paid less than $2,000 for her royalty check. In fact, she says she was paid $1,972 to be exact. This was the first twist in a series of unfortunate, unfair events that would later follow Tony throughout her life. The unfair record deal and royalties forced Tony to pursue legal action against her record label so she could get what she was rightfully deserved. Signing the bad record deal is where all of Tony's problems started. This was the costliest mistake she made. Tony had to pay legal fees and tax. After Tony won her legal battle against her record label, she was rightfully paid $20 million. Even what sounds like a lot of money didn't last long in her bank account, as she had to pay a lot of money to legal fees. Tony was moving from one financial disaster to the next. In 2019, Tony also faced a massive tax issue where she owed $340,200 in taxes to the federal government. She was also reported to owe $116,100 in California for taxes. Her debt continued to pile up. As the saying goes, when it rains, it pours. Tony had to pay her staff who worked with her. You would assume Tony's financial misfortune ends there, but it doesn't. Although Tony won the legal battles against the previous recording label, she still had to pay her staff. This meant that her money problems were far from over. Tony had to pay her own team and reimburse the label for the studio time, clothes, travel, album, and any costs that they invested in her. After paying all of these costs, no wonder Tony was left with very little to survive on. Tony made bad music, which her fans didn't support. After Tony left the Arista slash La Face record label, she continued making music. Sadly, the record sales for the music Tony was making dropped like a lead balloon. Her music performed so badly that even Tony admitted that she didn't like talking about the music. She went as far as to compare it to a one night stand that she would rather forget. Bad music and bad sales are a recipe for disaster that does not pay the bills. Although Tony was a successful artist with multiple hits, she still produced music that her fans didn't react positively to, so making music didn't help her get out of her financial mess. She was diagnosed with a disease forcing her to take a break from her career. When Tony continued making music, she got a Las Vegas residency, which she was funding from her own pocket. This was great as people loved Tony and her music. The multi-award winning superstar then got the opportunity to increase the residency for three years, from 2006 to 2010. However, as fate would have it, there was no silver lining here as Tony was diagnosed with a life-threatening disease in 2007 called microvascular angina and lupus. 
This unfortunate event triggered the next mudslide of Tony's financial problems. She had to bow off stage and out of her Las Vegas residency as she could not continue singing. Abruptly cutting off Tony's income streams led to her losing more and more money. At this stage, Tony admitted to being more than $10 million in debt, leading her to file for her second bankruptcy in 2010. She is a shopaholic. Despite all of her misfortune and bad luck concerning money, Tony herself was not good either at managing the little money she made from her music. She admitted that her weakness was home dishes and home wear. She spoiled herself by buying expensive 1,000 thread count bedding and various other house supplies, which she could have done without. Shopping for such luxurious goods did not help the situation as she kept digging a hole further down. As Tony filed for bankruptcy, she was forced to sell some of her most precious items to make a living. She sold some of her expensive clothing and jewelry and auctioned off some iconic pieces. It was at this point that she considered posing naked for Playboy to earn some money. If there is any lesson to be learned here, it is that when we are down and out, there are things we should be willing to sell and let go of to make ends meet. The Turning Point after all the financial disasters and a career that almost faded away, Tony still managed to bounce back. She and her family started a reality television show that did exceptionally well. Although occasionally the show had to be paused due to certain concerns, the show was a big comeback for Tony. Tony has definitely learned her lesson when it comes to money management. As she was quoted saying, I have to monitor myself because I am definitely on a budget. When all is said and done, Tony learned that you have to live within your means and always tell your money where to go with the budget. To date, Tony gets paid to do private performances to Russian audiences and various other small groups in Europe. Tony is also venturing into acting. She has been quoted saying, I think it's important for an artist to try new things, even if it doesn't work. Although Tony is a strong woman who always rises from the ashes like a phoenix, we can learn from her experience that money management and bad deals can lead to financial catastrophes. If you enjoyed this video, we have more inspirational videos for you to watch right here. Until next time.